the brown boys, the brown boys, the brown boys, we the brown boys, the brown boys, we the brown boys. All right, y'all. So if you did not know, Stephen A. Smith, a.k.a. Mr. One Point, a.k.a. is lower than that because I didn't play. First of all, put some respect on my name, Stephen A. You're talking to Mr. Georgia. You wasn't Mr. Nothing. You see, you even said in the own video, boy, your daddy talked about you. Your own daddy thought you was a loser. No, I know, I know, I know. That was wrong of him to say. But like you said to me, that's what you were showing at the time. See, see, by your own logic, if you showing at the time, if I was showing at the time, like you say, in 2007, 2008, that I could not play in the league, then you was right in saying what you were saying is what you were saying, right? So then that would make your father right for what he was saying because you were slow at the time, remember? You know, you got held back. Those were your marks. So in all fairness, you know, I was a teenager when it happened to me. You was a preteen when it happened to you, you know. But see, you have had a lot, a lot of stuff happen to you. See, at least I, I dominated it and made it to the top of what I do. You know, in high school, I was Mr. Georgia, McDonald All-American. Didn't win the state, though. Came close. Stayed on my same team, you know. Oh, did I mention I was prom king as well? Signed and sealed and delivered to the University of Florida. You know, very early, you know. Made the ACT score very quickly. So while you couldn't read, while you couldn't write, daddy was calling you a dummy. I was excelling not only on the basketball court, but in the classroom. Um, when we compare my stats to yours for doing more than just watching and looking, your stats speak for themselves. They self. You don't have a high school career. You don't have a college career. You have nothing. You finally got your own network. You did the same job for 20 years. And Cameron don't respect you. Cameron is a Queens nigga, man. Don't you hear the way him and Dame Dash talk? Dame Dash don't respect nobody do the same job for 20 years. And Cam is his boy. You did the same job for 20-something-odd years, boy. The same exact job of talking shit about black men. I pretty much made your career, Stephen A. You wasn't nothing before you started saying, Kwame Brown. That is like one of the most things you know for other than getting loud. You known for snitching on AI, getting your coach fired, and talking about Kwame Brown that you call Kwame. I see you still got that in speech impediment, boy, because my name is Kwame, you dumbass. You say to this day, you go and look up the dictionary and you make sure you look at how the word is used in a sentence and you make sure you study that word and you go get it and you make sure you can say it right so nobody can call you stupid. So then Stephen A, are you stupid or are you just disrespectful? Because you haven't figured out how to pronounce my name in 20 something odd years, you clown. And everybody in the world can say my name. It's easy. It's Kwame. Or was your daddy right about you, dummy? <laughs> was your daddy right about you, dummy? And before anybody start putting in the chat, you can say it either way. I said, he said, he looks up the word to study it and see how they use it. I don't say my name as Kwame Brown. I, when you've seen me in interviews, my name is Kwame. He's heard me say my name is Kwame. So that's no excuse. He know exactly what my name is. And he said he's an educated man. So now we can put it on record that he's willfully disrespecting me. So any disrespect that comes his way is warranted. Because he's saying Kwame Brown on purpose to please his white boss. See? And Stephen A., I don't know why you said my name. I don't know why you keep saying my name. But I do know why. You missed them paychecks. See, your highest view material is when you say my name. And it's crazy the fact that now you're trying to spin it like I'm clout chasing and talking about you. 
you was in an interview saying all kind of stuff about your daddy, about your upbringing in school, about where you hooped at at the park. Mark Jackson ain't know none of them places. But ironically, he from up the street from you. But Mark Jackson ain't know no, well, nowhere where you hooped at. But nevertheless, out of the blue, you just said my name. Like Kwame Brown, he wants to bring up my name. Bring up your name. When you said my name every draft, I was, I was retired. I was gone from the game. And guess who would bring my name up? Stephen A. Guess what he'd be talking about? Who's a bus and how they's a bus? Stephen A. done went to high schools and colleges. What were you teaching these people, Stephen A.? What did they learn from you? A broke knee punk. So let's get into this, man. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of what you say. What you said. I'm sorry I have to do this. I'm sorry I'm not sorry. But let's get into the meat and potatoes of what you said. And let's begin to break this down how you said it. In my field, I'm at the top of what I'm doing. Right. How about you? What are you doing in your field? Are you at the top of what you're doing? And so far, the notice, get back to me. Exactly. That's it. That's yeah. all. But, but also, I let them say it. I let them show whatever they uh, We're going to play this under fair use. We're going to play this under fair use so we can hear Broke Knee run his mouth. All right, so let me play this. Fair use, fair use. They want to show, they're going to show a bit. I'm in a shirt and tie. James Harden, let me shoot without warming up. I shoot the air ball. They're going to show that from 12 years ago. I'm like, I said, is that what you got? Go ahead. Right. And then you, you got, got this damn Kwame Brown talking. And I'm sitting there like, you talking about us talking. Hey, y'all, he almost acted like he was, he was about to choke saying my name. Hey, listen, you could tell this is a clout chase. He ain't want to do this, man. He trying to get his show up, y'all. Bless his heart. He did not want to do this, man. He trying to get his show up. He didn't want to do this. And, and then you got this damn Kwame Brown talking. And I'm sitting there like, you talking about us talking about black people. All you do is talking about black people. You go. So he said, you talking about us. All I do was talk about black people. Uh, Well, I beg to differ, sir. I beg to differ. Uh, for years, uh, let me get on camera for this. Let me explain something to you, boy. In case you didn't know, boy, you are not my kind, boy. I wouldn't spit on you if you was on fire. All you do is disrespect black men. You are not my kind. And for years, men like me been talking to you, men like you like this our whole life. It keeps getting worse and worse and worse. But let's get to the part where he said, you can't get nobody to go against what he's saying, talking about me. Hold on. I don't know anyone on the planet who would tell me that I'm wrong about what I said. Now, that was years ago. They're like, you talking about us? Let me shoot without warming up. I shoot an air ball. They're going to show that from 12 years ago. I'm like, I said, is that what you got? Go ahead. Right. And then you, you got this damn Kwame Brown talking. And I'm sitting there like, you talking about us talking about black people. All you do is talking about black people. You going over about black people every day. I ain't never talk about you personally. I ain't never talk about your family. I ain't never talk about you. I never would do that. All I said was on the NBA level, you couldn't play. Now, now I don't know anyone on the planet who would tell me that I'm wrong about what I said. Now, that was years ago. So it's like, I I'm sorry. I don't mean to be. I'm like, I apologize, bro. I'm sorry for telling the truth at the time. My, My bad. bad. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it to haunt you 15 years later. It's okay. I wish you nothing but the best. But every time I turn around, a brother keep talking about me. So I said, I guess it's, I guess that's going to get you clicks. So go ahead and get them. Gotcha. I didn't mean to interrupt, guys. I'm going to let you get back to what you're doing. I just want to shout both of you out, man. And y'all enjoy the rest of y'all after night. Right, I love love appreciate you. Anytime, bro. Okay. Thank you. All right, love. I got to say, though, Kwame Brown played for me with the Golden State Warriors and was very good as a backup center and a starting center when we had no big. So great screen set, a great diver and a, and a professional. Thank so. you for telling me. Stephen A. just said, I don't know anybody that will disagree with me for saying what I just said. And right after the break, Mark Jackson said, well, I got to tell you, Kwame Brown played for me for Golden State. And he was good as a backup center and even as a starter. 
and he was professional. Great screener, great diver, and he was professional. So that's somebody that's disagreed with you. <laughs> what a dummy. Stephen A, give it up, boy. You lost even on your own show. Mark Jackson, somebody from your own neighborhood, somebody that we can actually respect for hooping, somebody that we can see his body of work, stamped a bus and said, no, Stephen A, actually, the man can play. So Stephen A, it's a shame, Stephen A. You still want to go with this narrative. All the hoopers know that what it takes to even get to that level, you should not even be talking like this, sir. 